So what is the best possible way and the fastest way to feed your dog a raw diet? I think I found a hack or a cheat code that made it very easy for me to feed my dog Bo a raw diet. So I wanna show you what that looks like, so keep watching. All right, so let me show you the goods. Oh, not that. Right there. There it is, now let's go. So I'm not sure if you heard of a raw diet before or a barf diet, but that means biologically appropriate raw foods that you give your dog, such as meats, organs, vegetables, things in that nature. And there's also a prey model diet that's just slightly different. I've made two videos on it where you can go and check it out. It goes more into detail on what those diets are. But I'm gonna show you right now what I'm feeding my dog. This is more of an update, but this is something that's easily copyable. I want you to be able to do this at your home if you're deciding to feed your dog a raw diet. So Colorado beef, vegetables, and fruits, their blended diet for dogs made with non-GMO vegetables and fruits from Peonia, I probably said that wrong, Colorado and raw meat from cattle raised without added hormones, steroids, or antibiotics and processed by Kinnikin Processing LLC, whatever. So the important part is the ingredients. Let me see if I can focus on this. So they got beef, beef heart, beef kidney, beef liver, zucchini, yellow squash, pumpkin, carrots, cabbage, celery, broccoli, red and yellow bell peppers, apples, strawberries, spinach, blueberries, kale, cranberries, beef bone, and parsley, all inside these beef patties that you actually, all you have to do is just thaw them out and feed them to your dog. So this is what I've been doing lately, and I've been feeding four sliders because as you can see on this feed, oh, let me focus, feed eight ounces per 50 pounds of body weight twice a day. So what I actually do is just feed one raw meal and then one kibble meal, and I feed Taste of the Wild. But obviously this is raw meat, so you gotta handle it like raw meat. You gotta wash your hands. You gotta make sure that you're not contaminating all the surfaces. All right, so just thawing it is simple. All you gotta do is open it. And um, I have a ton of packages of these. So just because they're frostbit doesn't mean that they're ruined. These will be perfectly fine for your dog. Again, I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this. This is three patties right here. And um, I'm going to just put them on the plate and let them thaw. I'm going to actually thaw out six because I'm going to feed him a little bit more today. And um, these are hard to break up, so might as well just give them six. So put this to the side. Now, this is what they look like. You can see right there, they're just raw patties. And everything is blended up in here. You have all those ingredients that I was just talking about put them in here. If you want to check out this company, I'll put a link in the description and there's other ones that are similar like it. I'm going to find more for you guys to put in the description as well. So you guys could check out more than just one option, but this is currently my favorite option right now. So all you do is let this thaw and I'm not going to let it thaw in the microwave where you defrost it. I'm just going to let it thaw out like this because that's the perfect way to do it. And, um, I just don't want to heat this up. You know, it's raw meat. I don't want to heat it up and give it to my dog. So just let it be like that. And I'm going to come back when they're thawed out. So got the dog bowl. I got a big one because y'all were saying I had my old raw video. The one I had was too small. And now I got the actual good. So this is what it looks like when it's thawed. And I break it up with a little spoon because I don't want to use my good spoons. So simply just throw it in there. Boom. Let me throw this away. Look at him. He acts like he's not hiding. All right, so I like to crush it up just a tiny bit, not too much, but I do this because your dog could definitely swallow the thing, the thing whole, and um, I just prevent choking. So that's the reason why I crush this up. And also, if you're gonna feed in one of your dog bowls, make sure to clean your dog bowls. Some people don't do it, and I don't understand why. Uh, leftover raw meat bacteria could be very it could get your dog sick very fast so just clean them that's all it is to it i'm gonna break this up it's, it's kind of a little frozen still i'm not sure if you can hear that but let me just break it up a little bit more so this is what it looks like broken up this is half a meal for the day all right and i'm gonna add a little bit of stuff to it and check it out 
Next, what I like to do is just simply add an egg and they can actually eat the shell because this is very good in calcium. But what I'm gonna do is try to break up the egg shell as much as I can, just so they could digest it a little bit easier and it goes down a little bit easier and it's not sharp needles on the throat. So just spread it in there. You're gonna get a little messy and that's okay. And I just like to mix it in there, just like this, just so the eggshells are not as harsh. You know, sometimes he doesn't even chew the meat, he just goes down because there's no raw bone in here. Which brings up another point. That is good that the egg is in there, the eggshells in there, because they didn't say no raw bone. So raw bone is a big thing that we're missing right now, but you're not gonna see this, but I actually have raw bones in the freezer that I like to have him just chew on. He could chew on it, and there's a lot of bone marrow in those bones, so I like to give him that separately, just so uh, maybe he's uh, in the crate, and he's chewing on a bone, or he's outside, and he's uh, chewing on a bone to cool down. So, boom, that's what it looks like. Let me show you something else that you can add into there. So apple cider vinegar is another thing that I like to add in there. This can help make sure the dog digests this pretty well, and it goes down well and uh, it can help with urinary tract infections, how to prevent those. So I like to add one teaspoon of this. I do this twice a week, only twice a week. So this is one time and then there'll be another time because it's very strong. You don't wanna do this every meal. Another thing you can add in here that I do not have because I ran out is fish oil. You can add fish oil in this or coconut oil. Those are also very beneficial to your dog. It can help their skin, their coat. It can help with allergies. It can help with a lot of things. So that's what I like to add to my dog's food. And there's one more thing that I like to add. And that is Momentum Carnivore Nutrition Seasonings Freeze-Dried Raw Topping. So all this is, it's just the topping for your dog's food and it's raw meat in there. So you can see what it looks like right here. So I like to just add a small teaspoon, not too much. Boom, that's what I like to do right there. Maybe a teaspoon and a half, or I should say a tablespoon and a half. Boom. And this is your finished meal. It's a big bowl, small meal, but then again, you gotta think, I'm feeding him again throughout the day, and I like to keep my dog nice and lean. So this is what it looks like. It's a little messy, looks disgusting to us, but I know he's gonna love that. So let's give it to him. There goes Bo, waiting oh so patiently. Come on. Wait. Yes, good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Tear it up. See, what's good about this is there's no harsh bones right now. He's just licking it, eating it bits at a time. Then I'm going to give him the raw bone later. Good boy. One eternity later. Boom. Done data.